Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to crochet a bottle bag and I'm using big twist cotton yarn for that and one of my favorite colors of this season is sage, this beautiful sage color. Okay, let's get started. So what we want to do first is we want to make a knot like that and I'm using number four hook okay let's chain 24 before we jump into the first round make sure we, you have chain 24 and then for the first round what we want to do is skip the first loop and then single crochet into the second one that's how our first seven rounds will look like. Just keep going, single crochet only. I will meet you halfway on this side, at the end of this side. Once you get to the end, I left last loop intentionally to show you what we're gonna do here. So you wanna do the last single crochet and then you wanna do turn and you want to do another single crochet and then starting the other side you want to keep going with your single crochets from the very first chain and at the end of round one you should have total of 48 stitches we are at the end of round one and I counted my stitches and I have 48, uh, 47 and this will be my last one, 48. So now we're gonna start from round two. I never do slip stitch, I just keep going, but it's just my preference, those who follow me and know already, I always just keep going. If you wanna do slip stitch, you can do that, but just make sure you are doing in the same uh, first stitch, your first single crochet. Uh, you want to chain one first and then do the first single crochet in the same uh, stitch and another thing i wanted to tell you i should have told you earlier at the very beginning when we did chain 24 make sure your chain 24 is very tight because you want to avoid too big of a holes in the very bottom of your back round two we want to keep going till the end of round seven, just single crochet every each round till round seven is over. The end of round seven, the way you know that it's from that you can, you can see your single crochet stitches and inside you can see those straight small stitches and that tells you that that's the inside of the back round eight i'm not going to do again slip stitch i'm just gonna keep going from here we want to do five chain five two three four and five and then we want to skip three stitches and then on the fourth, fourth one, we want to do single crochet. Okay, let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. And you want to do skip three stitches. And in the fourth one, we want to do single crochet. Keep going. This is our round eight and I will meet you at the end of round eight. At the end of round eight, that's how we end the round. One, two, and then yarn over, and you wanna do the double crochet in the very first stitch. That way now you have it in the middle, and you can st go ahead and start your second round. Okay, let's do chain five again, the same way like before, three, 
four, five, and then we want to single crochet in the middle. Okay, that's the first chain five in round nine. This is our round nine. I will show you one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and in the middle and single crochet. Keep doing this uh, till you hit um, 18 rounds of chain five and single crochet, plus seven single crochet rounds that we already or already have and I will meet you at the end of round 25. We are at the end of round 25 and I'm closing it with chain 5 the same way. 3, 4, 5 and I do just a single crochet. But you can do also chain 2 and close with double crochet that's fine too round 26 we want to do two single crochets in here and then single crochet here at the first single crochet from previous round and then for the next chain five you want to do three single crochets one two three and then fourth single crochet into the previous single crochet okay that's how our round 26 is going to look like so three single crochets into chain five two three and one single crochet into the single crochet Okay, just keep going and I will show you how to close the round 26. This is the end of round 26 and what I did is I did the final three single crochets in chain five and I'm gonna do the final, I'm gonna connect two together with single crochet. So at the end of this round you should have total of 40 eight stitches just like at the beginning we did round 27 28 29 and 30 are going to be exactly the same you want a single crochet into each stitch around just keep going we are closing the and round 30 and I'm doing it by single crochet only and then what I do here is I want to cut some of the yarn and I have ready my needle here so just pull it from here your yarn and put your yarn into needle that's what I will be doing. What you want to do now is to put your needle under the second stitch, then into the last stitch from the previous round, from the last round, and then it should be looking like a stitch, like that. Okay? And then looks good, I think. Okay, like that. So, and then just go different directions with your needle, and when you feel like you can cut it off, you can just yeah trim your yarn. Okay, I'm gonna cut my yarn, and let's check it out. Looks good, I think. Okay. And that's what, you, what we got. For the handle, make sure your, your bag lays straight. 
and count your 24 stitches on the front and 24 on the back so it's you can fold it evenly and then what we need for handle we will need 10 stitches from the middle that brings us if we have 24 here that brings us to seven from uh, it should be seven stitches here and seven there and ten in the middle so count seven stitches one two three four five six seven and your eight one will be the one you want to start with starting with the handle and let's hold with one of our fingers our yarn on the back and bring through the stitch and then chain one and that will count like one single crochet that's our first single crochet let's do nine more and what you want to do if you want to hide this you can just go together with the tail of the yarn okay so three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay chain one and turn over round two and we want to decrease twice at the beginning and at the end okay so this will be our first decrease and then the following stitches you want to do just single crochets till the last two where we will be doing our second decrease okay and that will bring us to a total of eight stitches after the decreases okay. and one more it, m it may be hard with the last one because that was our the our very first stitch but try to get it so this is our decreasing okay and you're gonna get a total of eight two four six eight and now chain one and turn around your work round three you want to do single crochets only in all eight stitches and do chain one at the end and turn your work again round four we will do one more decrease one more time so in the first stitch and then single crochets again till the last two stitches okay and we will have at the end six stitches total okay let's count two four six and chain one and turn around your work so for the round five and up till round 32 you want to just do single crocheting and then chain one at the end and turn around again and i will meet you at the round at the beginning of round 33 we will we'll do increasing instead of decreasing now row 33 and we're gonna increase in the first stitch then the second one again in the same stitch okay then two three four five and increase again in the last sixth one and we're gonna have total of eight stitches at the end of the, this round okay let's chain one again turn around our work and here next 34th um, round we're gonna single crochet only and it's going to be eight 
stitches. Two, three, around 35. And we want to increase again in the first and last stitches. Okay. And then single crochets only. Two, three, four, five, six, and in the last one we want to do two single crochets to increase in the same stitch. Okay, chain one and turn around. For the final 36th round, we want to turn our bag inside out and find those 10 stitches again so you have it's even. Once you found those 10 stitches, you want to put into the first stitch from the handle and into the first stitch from the bag your hook and just do the first single crochet and the same you do with the following nine stitches that's how it, your final row should around uh, should look like and with the the rest of the yarn just cut it again just like we did before when we were done with the bag itself not the handle and just use again pull your yarn and use your needle and do exactly the same thing that we did when we were ending our bag. The bag is ready. And remember we were working the other side around. And just don't forget to turn your bag. And it's ready to go. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you.